if you don't have a form name, JavaScript stores all the uh, the forms because it has to keep all the data um, about the forms. I think anyway, I'm not exactly sure, but for some reason there's an array of the forms, okay, and uh, that array goes, you know, like a normal array. So the first form in your um, page will be uh, the first element in the array, and the array, of course, is called forms. And then we have to put the uh, those two square brackets, and then so the first element will be whoops. Zero, there we go. And whoops, I deleted the other square bracket. Okay, there we go. So now what we're doing here is we're using the uh, the array that JavaScript has of um, of forms to retrieve the first form in the HTML page. And this annoying, uh, where is it? I must have pressed something, which made that curse come up. Oh well. Okay, uh, there we go. I know what I'm pressing. I press insert, didn't I? There we go. Okay. Uh, so basically, sorry, um, what this is telling JavaScript to do is look in the document and then look inside the array of forms it has and find the uh, whatever's named as first name and find the value of that and find the length of the value and check if it's equal to zero okay and that's exactly the same as telling JavaScript to look inside the document for an element ID'd as first name look inside the value of that look inside the length of the value and check if it's equal to zero okay these are both the same uh, so I just wanted to show you that you can there is in fact this uh, way to get around the fact that if your form has actually no um, no name okay um, bearing that in mind, I'm not sure if it works with the input. You might be able to say, like, uh, there's an, you know, if your input didn't have a name, you could say, um, inputs zero, but I, I don't think that works. I haven't tried it actually, and I don't think it works. So generally, you should just try and stick with, um, naming your input types and also it's highly recommended to name your form your forms um, if you haven't named your form as well it's probably a good idea not to use this method but to just use this get element by ID method because then you don't have to go through all the trouble of checking what number form it is in the thing and etc so you know that's just a note there Anyway, finally moving on. Uh, if it is, e if the length of first name is equal to zero, then it alerts you input a first name and returns false. So let's just test that. Okay, let's just refresh the page. Okay, so there's no first name. I'm gonna click submit, submit. Sorry, and it's gonna say input a first name. Okay, as usual. Oh, and by the way, this return false is crucial. If you don't have that return false here, if I save that. 